the great thing about this system is you don't have to learn any additional software or don't have to learn any um, additional interfaces in order to start and stop recordings. Very simply, to start any recording, you take your simple USB key, and when you're ready to start that recording, you just will simply plug that key into the box. This has now started the recording. So, whenever we want to stop the recording or we want to gag the proceedings, we simply just go remove the key, and it's just that easy to start and stop recordings. So in the courtroom, we really don't have to do anything but learn how to simply start and stop the recordings by inserting the key. Well, before we go into the software, we'll simply want to load our disk first to burn a copy. And we simply just drop the disk into the drive. And now we're ready to go into the email and download our files. There are several ways you can receive your files, but for this case, we're going to go to email and we're going to grab our file. So first, we go open our email account. In this case, uh, I am using uh, Gmail. And so what we'll do is look for uh, email we've gotten recently. And in this case, we have an email listed at the top, which is new court recordings. And so I'll go ahead and open that. Now here in this file, or in this email, since this is web-based email, uh, we have uh, options to go download or play the file locally. And so a uh, real easy way to get this to CD is first we will simply hit the right trigger button on the mouse. So in this case we're going to hit our right click over the top of that software option, or excuse me, over that link. And that's going to give us a few options there. But what we're going to do is we're going to save the target as. And so we simply select that. Now we're prompted to basically put that document where we want it and then name it. So um, in this case, since we're going to be doing this to a CD-ROM drive, we'll simply go to our computer. And then here you'll notice there is a DVD drive in this case right here. We're going to select to save it there, and then we're going to name the file, whatever we want to name the file. So if this was a the Smith case, we simply type in Smith case, and maybe we want to put in a date for the uh, actual file. And then we simply just go over to save, and that will burn it directly to our disk.